Welcome to a special news shot episode of That's All I Have to Say About That. Now right after I clicked publish on my most recent video, we got some huge breaking news. China has voted to implement a new national security bill in Hong Kong, and everybody already feels so much safer. The final vote was 2,878 to 1. Wow, someone has balls of steel. Guys, we should really respect Hong Kong's autonomy. Who's with me? Guys? Is this thing on? Tough crowd. So what happened? Well, to explain this, I need to refer back to a recent metaphor I used in the last episode. China and Hong Kong's relationship is that of two roommates that can't stand each other or move out. They ran tape down the middle of the room and said, alright, this half is Hong Kong and this half is China. Pay your rent on time and we will not interact. We'll call it one country, two systems. So as long as everybody keeps their system to themselves, this should work. What's the problem? Well, it really depends on who you ask, because China would say, hey Hong Kong, when you moved in here from that British guy's apartment, your lease specifically said that you would pass laws to protect my half of the room from people and actions on your side of the room. And well, you've been here 23 years and still have not passed those rules yet. I'll just leave another post-it note reminder on the fridge. Now Hong Kong has tried to pass these laws several times in the past, most recently last year. This was the third major protest in eight days against the government's contentious extradition bill. Just 24 hours earlier, Chief Executive Carrie Lam announced a pause in efforts to pass the legislation. Again? Come on Hong Kong, I wrote this reminder on the fridge in all caps. We're already rigging your elections, do we really have to take care of your protesters too? Just pass the darn law. This specific commitment comes from Article 23 of Hong Kong's constitution and says, Hong Kong shall enact laws on its own to prohibit any act of treason, secession, sedition and subversion against the central people's government. Of course, this is more of a thou shall not pass shall than a I shall have another one if that's okay with you. According to a deputy of the National People's Congress, Bernard Chan, basically the mainland had delegated that legislation to us, to Hong Kong, to do ourselves, but we failed in 23 years. It's hard to pass legislation in Hong Kong these days, so the central government is taking the initiative and going forward with it. Now, This whole situation left China with two options. Either continue to passive aggressively leave notes and hope that Hong Kong as an autonomous region would pass laws to regulate this stuff themselves, or they could get involved. The vote that took place this morning was China officially opting for the latter option in an unprecedented way. The new strategy of implementing national security laws is to use Article 18 of Hong Kong's constitution. Now, under Article 18, national laws can only be applied in Hong Kong if they relate to defense, foreign affairs, and other matters outside of the limits of the city's autonomy. Now, to go back to our taped off apartment for a second to explain this, this Article 18 rule was put in place to establish basic house rules. If I start a prank war with the people down the hall, you're going to need to be on the same side as me. You can't negotiate a different apartment deal than me or put up your half of the apartment on Airbnb. We're living under one apartment, two systems after all. Now, This also standardized certain federal holidays and metrics amongst the two systems so they could function cohesively as one country. The gray area here is if Hong Kong's inviting people over that China doesn't like or putting up posters that China finds too subversive, how much can China tweak house rules without violating Hong Kong's autonomy and their ability to create their own laws? Now, This is where we get into the primary point of contention today, because with this vote, China has officially called a roommate meeting and announced that they're changing house rules. One problem that makes this hard to report on though is we still are potentially weeks from knowing what these new rules are. What we do know is that its intention is to ban treason, secession, sedition, and subversion of China. Now, If those words sound familiar, they were the exact terms on Hong Kong's lease from 23 years ago. Now, There are two primary concerns associated with the result of this vote China took today. 
Now, first is the fact that China would be imposing laws on Hong Kong by changing house rules. Even if this was the most benign law change, ok, now it's super illegal to plan acts of terrorism in Hong Kong. It would still be chipping away at Hong Kong's autonomy in a major way and setting some bad precedents. We've now opened the door to a new way of putting laws in Hong Kong, changing house rules. The more specific reason people are alarmed is that Hong Kong has an incredibly independent judiciary system and a long list of protection rights that don't exist in China. Here's the Chief Justice Jeffrey Ma speaking earlier this year. Article 85 of the Basic Law states that the courts of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region shall exercise judicial power independently, free from any interference. Now, because this is a house law and not a Hong Kong law, the power of final interpretation on constitutional affairs lies not in any court in Hong Kong, or any court at all, but in the National People's Congress Standing Committee in Beijing. Oh yeah, I'm sure the National People's Congress Standing Committee is going to be super concerned about their free speech rights, except maybe one guy who voted against this. If you're worried about secessionist and seditious acts, well, I'm sure that a Hong Kong independence protest is not going to make the gut. We're talking about people who find Winnie the Pooh too subversive. Again though, we have no idea what the actual law will look like right now. What we do know right now is that the National People's Congress on Thursday voted in favor of the decision to empower its standing committee to draft this legislation. Yeah, they're really putting the cart before the horse on this one. All right, we're going to pass this legislation nationally. Now, what's the legislation? Thank you and that's all I have to say about that. Hello YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this quick update to yesterday's story. First, I'd like to thank my patrons for helping me put out my videos. If you want to support independent, nonpartisan news looking into the overlooked, join this growing list of exceptional individuals by clicking on that link in the description. Also, remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and lastly, as always, thank you for watching.